said I'm running out of time. Alright guys, so we are here. When he was a baby, he went to sleep At with Daddy's. music. Yeah, he was and we're eating our food. Remember? Yeah. He likes music. So we have our jerk chicken. Travis have... Escovich. Well, Escovich fish, or he had it. Escovich fish. <laughs> oh, we didn't try to pick up. Oh yeah, wait there. Oh. How's your curry chicken, mama? It's the best creamy. you've ever had. Yeah, can I try it? Mm -hmm. Travis is trying to pepper over there that we just bought. Begging. Look what I have, you guys. A blacky mango. Smells so good. Oh, one time on it. Mm mm. No, buddy. Which one? Music have a yard to run around in. Hey buddy, are you having fun? Wow, found rib. Okay, that looks really good. Phone barbecue, 11 p.m. This is what I'm talking about, Miami night. Tell them how to find you. Just get on YouTube, or matter of fact, go on Instagram. This is the No Sauce Barbecue, the best in town. That's right. If it ain't Tim, it ain't for me. <laughs> Are you always in this location? Actually, no, I'm always off of 95th Street and 17th Avenue. Anything now 17th from 85th Street to 95th, you'll see me. Looking for the green truck, the grill, and that Mr. No Sauce going up. Hey, you guys. So, come here, babe. And let's kick off the video. So we are in Miami. That's right, that's right. We just touched down today and we found an event downtown that we're going to at the Windwood um, Walls area. It's a soca kickoff slash reggae. Oh, and Afrobeats. Okay, hi, quick trivia. If y'all been watching on live and paying attention, tell me what's in my cup right now. Why? Is it something we always do? Events. You know what I mean? Two cost effective way. Drop in the comment box, let me know what's in this cup. Something might be coming your way. Alright? We'll catch y'all there. You always say I got enough to spend the night with you. She said, you know you're too drunk to drive. And even if you want, would it kill you to stay a while? I've been putting work in all week. I see what I'm telling you. Just hit me when you're done. Done, done, done. Just hit me when you're done. Done, 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 done. And maybe we could. Uh, 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 uh. You, you, you've been working too hard. Let's have some fun. Just hit me when you're done. But never run Get back from my soul. So we made it down to Wynwood. Tony Goldman Way. And there's a long line of cars waiting to, I'm assuming going to the same event. So this one time we're not super early. We're kind of in the middle. We're not super late, not super early. So hopefully it's such an exciting event. I heard that it's every Saturday night. Oh, look at that Bob Marlin uh, mural over there. That's so cute. Hey, Bob.
Walking in the backyard. This could be a nice patio out here. I told Daddy already he needs a back door patio set so we can hang outside. But it needs like a roof so all the stuff don't get wet. Music, oh my gosh. Oh, another one. That's the Julie? That's East Indian, Daddy. No. What's that? I don't know. What these some mangoes? Oh, wow. Look at all the mangoes back there. Look at the wrong. tree right there. That's cool. one more you grew these? Yeah. This is a Julie oh, mango tree. And this is the black mango tree. <laughs> We're looking at the black and mango tree, Taylor. These trees are huge. Oh, those ones are big. <laughs> Daddy, I catch the black and mango. Black and mango <laughs> Whoa. Don't give her any more of those. Why? Oh, yes. Tastes good? <laughs> Taylor, you see that? Just pick it and eat it. Mm-hmm. Music's eating it. He's eating the grass. He's eating the mango. Oh, yeah. Him love a mango. He tried to eat mine. <laughs> you see him eat it, Daddy? He's like a garbage disposal. Music, you get mango skin, it tastes good, right? <laughs> oh, look at Daka. Oh boy, that looks so good, Taylor. I want some. You said good morning already? Yeah. Music said good morning too. Oh, <laughs> you scared of music? <laughs> He's not Touch our boy. This man, come get his own bread food, run, and didn't even say, here, wife. I made that, I got a piece. This is a great creation. See what he said? Fruit, that tastes like bread. <laughs> Fruit that tastes like bread. Sit. Sit. Hey. High five. High five. Music is trying bread fruit. He has his own treat to you. You like I've never it, Mia? Anti training. Oh, it hurts. Oh, Chet, do you get bread Thank fruit? You. Is it? No, I don't. So, where's mine? This is coming out.
Wait to buy her her crepe. So how was your time? We didn't talk not one time in the okay. camera. So how was brunch? I mean, brunch was good. Um, it's definitely hot. There's not as crowded and lit as the last time I came. But just being on the water, seeing the boats pull up, good food. Excuse me, good atmosphere. It was pretty good. I was chillaxing, they came disturbing me. So it was time to make the next move on to the next. We're heading to the beach now, guys. But this heat is not for the faint. It's crazy hot. Just got changed and I'm in my cover up in my swimsuit and we're gonna go to the beach. So yeah, bye guys. So we just finished having brunch at Shooter's Waterfront. Whew. Our brunch time was 10 a.m. and we got there a little late, like 10, 20. We still got seated, but around 11.30, the heat started turning up, you guys, like turned all the way up like right now the huh no it's right here um my entire energy has just been zapped like completely zapped it's time to go in the water you guys Whew. under his makeshift tent Imagine I leave all them stuff in the car just for this. I know we were gonna go to the beach. Why would we do that? just finished at the beach and now we're gonna head back to the house because the heat is not playing with us it's not so we couldn't stay out there that long taylor's finishing her mango and then we're gonna head out up oh, peeps we are still at it what is that we're still at it Y'all hear the thunder and lightning in the background. We're heading to Igloo. We got complimentary tickets from my girl, Krista. That's the Bahamianista. And um, she lives in South Florida. We met up with her yesterday. We met her for the first time. And um, she got us tickets to Igloo. So we're kind of late. Um, Igloo started at 3, but you know how most Jamaican parties are. No one shows up on time, and so we're tired of being the early birds. And so we don't have an igloo, but we have our Stanley Cups, and um, yes, you guys here, we have our Stanley Cups. Plus, 
and we're gonna make sure we have ice in there. And we're gonna get a margarita mix. You know how we do it, so. Igloo is a party that you bring your own igloo with all your drinks, you don't have to buy drinks, so that's how we're filling up our Stanley Cups and we're bringing my cooler bag with a little bit of extra in it. All right, so you all know, man, we take this with us everywhere we go. We make it as a ritual. We even upgraded the size of the cup. It's a cool effect, so you know for sure we can get one of our standings. So let's make it happen, man. Cool effect. You put ice in the bag right now? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to lose it. I'll hold the cup. Cup number one. People are driving 20 miles an hour.